In this video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the browser. So here at the very top of the browser, you'll notice we have two tabs to start with. We've got library, which is all of machine sounds and your sounds integrated into the browser. And then we have files. Now files just gives you a way to navigate to something on your computer through machine software UI. Library, however, is where all the sounds from native instruments are kept and also where all your own sounds are kept as well once they've been imported and integrated. Okay, so let's move down one layer here. And we're looking now at this first selection, which is the projects. Now projects are at the top of the file structure and machine. So everything that you work on when you're working in a project gets saved with the project. So this contains your sounds, your sample selection, your effect settings, your mixer settings, your patterns, your arrangement, everything. Now here we have a selection of projects which came with machine. And you would simply just double click on one, give it a second or two, and it will load up. And now you can see everything is much more full over here in the arrangement. It's full of patterns. And we could just have a listen to it. I'm going to click this button here, which actually starts us from the beginning. Notice the change now as we go into the next scene. And there's our project loaded. Now, we also have a couple of other features here, such as this drop down menu. And this will allow you to further define which projects you're looking for. For example, are they projects from machine or some expansion that came with it? I actually don't have any expansions installed, so my only options are the ones that came with machine. Now, the next one here is going to be whether we're looking at machine's 1.8 library or 2.0 library. And then finally, here we can select what type we're looking for. So that could be breaks, club, downbeat and urban. And if there were more projects on offer here, we would have more types available as well. As you can see, now we have electro. And so depending on what's available down here, you'll be able to select different types up here. Okay, I'm just gonna click on X here, go for all projects. And let's take a look at this, which is our search bar. You could type in anything you want here, like for example, lost. It brings up this project called Lost. Now, finally, you can also favorite projects by clicking on this little star up here. And then when you want to just filter by your favorites, click on the star and it'll show you only the projects that you've favorited. Okay, so these are the projects that come with machine. What about projects that you've made yourself? Well, if we switch this here from the native instruments machine library to the user library, you'll be able to see the projects that you've made yourself. And in this case, there are two projects that I've created. Yours might be empty, but eventually, of course, as you save your own projects, this will fill out. So let's go back to the factory content now and go to our next section, which is groups. Now, a group can contain up to 16 sounds and they're grouped together. And you might think of these as kits, but fundamentally, it's just a collection of 16 sounds. And there are a number of other things included in a group, such as effect settings as well. So for example, let me clear this project right now. And let's just load up a kit. I'm going to double click on it. And here we are. And of course, you'll see these show up in your machine controller as well. The pads will light up where they once were dim because there are now sounds on those pads. Now you can see this last sound down here has an EQ plugin loaded. So groups can contain these plugins as well, and they'll save with the group. Now we'll be coming back to that aspect of groups later on. Now, another thing groups can contain are patterns. As you can see here, I can just enter in events, but there's nothing already there. And that's because this control here has been deactivated. If we switch this on and load our kit again, you can see it's now loaded the pattern that came with that group. Now, this sounds like it was made for a slower tempo. And so you can see that for as many settings are in a group, it's just a subset of your overall project. Now, all of these sounds in a group are mixed and combined into a final output, group output here. If we go into the mixer, for example, so instead of all the different sounds in a group coming up in a mixer, we just see the group output, which is a stereo output. And so it's like a bus output in your DAW. So this means not only can individual sounds have effects loaded onto them, but the group can have a master effect as well. Finally, we go into the master, which is the final output of the project. So this would be like on your DAW, the final stereo output where you would put your limiter 
and some mastering plugins perhaps. So let's move on to the next section here, which is our sounds. We can further divide this up into drums and instruments. I'm going to go with instruments here. Let's check out the choir sounds. So I'm going to drag this one down here, replace that. And you can hear there we've got that sound. I could replace it with another. Or we could switch over to drums here. And so you'll notice now that this has been loaded into the group. And in fact, if I click on any of these right now, while I've got this sound highlighted, or this slot highlighted, it'll load that sound into this slot. That's because I've got auto load on down here. So I'll just turn that off real quickly. And this will allow you to select sounds and drag them into some other slot without it automatically loading into the one you've highlighted. Now let's take a closer look at this sound. I'm going to go from our master view here down to the sound level. And notice how we've got our snare here, and then we've got a maximizer, a transient master, and a reverb. So this sound actually contains a number of effects already loaded onto the chain, and it's saved with the sound preset. And so you can see that sounds are a collection of source material, in this case it's snare sample, and processing that goes along with it. So let's move on now to the next section here. This is instruments. Now, in this section it's worth clicking on here just to have a look. So we're going to go to category here, and you can see that we've got instruments consisting of drums, sampled instruments, and synthesizers. We can go to vendor, and you can see I've got now instruments that come from native instruments, these come from Arturia, and I've got a couple here, one from Softube and one's from Waldorf. So this is the same thing as loading up an instrument plugin in your DAW. So let's just take, for example, Massive. Now I've filtered out everything else, and we're only looking at the sounds here and the presets that come from Massive. So let's go to Chord, and uh, let's load up 4AD and have a listen to that. Actually, I'm going to go with this one, because this is a nice one. Okay, so now I've got this chord sound loaded. Notice that we have Massive here and a number of effects loaded with it. Now if I click on this little arrow, you'll see Massive loaded up in a player form. So let me just come out of this. I'm going to X out of Massive here. Instead, I'm going to choose the Arturia SEM. Let's go with this one. And notice now, I can bring up the plugin, the Arturia SEM. So that's what instruments are. They're Pretty much your instrument plugins that you're used to in your DAW, such as Contact and your synthesizers and so on. Now, I actually have many more plugins than what's on display here. So why am I only seeing this small selection? Well, it's because these particular plugins have been updated with the NKS format, which is Machines Library Format. Which means Machine sees them and sees their presets as well, and they can be integrated into the browser and accessed directly in Machines Browser like this. It doesn't mean I don't have access to the rest of my plugins, however. For example, if I just click right here, you'll see I have a whole list here. I've got internal, which are machines own plugins, all the native instruments plugins that I own, then of course, all my individual plugins, such as say, Silent, as an example. Okay, now don't worry if all of this seems a bit too much to you, because we are gonna come back to this later on. Let's move on now to our effects. This is very straightforward. It's the same thing as our plugins, but instead of instruments, now we're looking at effects. So let's load up a compressor, for example. Very Comp's one of my favorites. Let's grab this here. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna come down to where there's an empty slot. Just drag it on there. And we'll be taking a deeper look at this whole section in a coming video. So don't worry if some of this is sort of not self-explanatory just yet. But that's basically how you load an effects. And you can see the plugin right there. So it's really the same thing again as the instruments, but this time with effects. Finally, we're looking at samples now. These are the most basic level of sounds that you're going to have in the machine. And of course, an area you're going to be coming to quite often. We can divide these into drums, kicks, and you can see we're getting right down to the most basic levels. Just going to drag this here and notice how when you put in a sample you don't just simply throw in a sample onto a group it loads in a sampler so if i go back to our mixer for example there you can see it 
and a sample is always going to load into its own sample player like this. Okay, so while we're in the sample section of the browser, you can actually preview sounds just by clicking on them like this. And if I click on auto load again, it'll automatically put them in the group as well. Notice though that these are just samples, they don't come with any chains of effects or anything like that. So that concludes our look at machines browser. You might be wondering at this point, can I bring in my own samples and integrate them into the browser? The answer is yes, you can. And we're going to take a look at how to do that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Take care.